Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my stuff, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. I do have a sale from now until uh, the end of January. It is a 40-minute FaceTime forecast for love career as well as uh, whatever it is that your guides would like you to know. I do have a video recorded reading a uh, version of that for 45 as well. Both of them are on my menu. The 40 minute FaceTime is $55. I also have a half hour FaceTime for 35 on sale for the next two weeks. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering holiday. I mean, reading i'm sorry guys enter reading in the comment section down below so we are going to see what is your future love scorpio um what are you know what are the blockages that are preventing you from meeting this new future love what is the time frame that you're going to meet them and what is the predicted final outcome now i have just pulled some out energy out to save time so what it what is going on with your future love well let's see here the king of wands ooh, 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 and judgment scorp it looks like there needs to be some kind of judgment calls made on um, meeting this new person you're going to find them incredibly attractive this could be a very attractive person um, it looks to me like um, your future lover, you're going to have a lot of mutual attraction with one another. Tell me about the King of Wands, please, Spirit. This person could be an entrepreneur, very successful, um, dark hair. This person seems to uh, possibly do something that is, yeah, um, they're a, a fast manifester. This person is someone who could possibly drive truck or do something in the driving industry as well. They could be a Cancer or a, a Sag or a Earth sign. This is somebody that you're going to want to move forward with, that is for sure. But you're going to be pulled in many different directions. Some of you here, fear is stopping you from moving forward. You have to be strong. Spirit's letting you know. If you want to meet a new lover, if you want to meet this new lover, you will have to... Um, persevere forward this new lover could be a leo or a cancer i'm feeling cancer from the moon here i feel like some of you are are moving forward with uh, a lot of of gusto you're feeling good you're ready to make judgment calls to start dating and meeting new people there's a lot of potential spirit saying right now that uh, fulfillment risk achievement your potential is limitless again though you're gonna have to take a risk um if you want to meet a new lover there's something you're gonna have to let go of and push through your fear you will definitely be marrying this person with your feelings. I felt a lot of mutual energy is just what I keep hearing. A lot of you will find this person attractive and very attractive. They will find you mutually attractive. You're being asked to um, possibly start journaling, start visualizing. There's repressed emotions. You're afraid to be rejected, and that's what it is. Some of you are also in denial about another relationship. A lot of you here, it's going to be important that you, you work through your rejection wounds and fears because um, there's somebody new coming around the corner. That's why I was guided to do this future love reading. Some of you here, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of making some judgment calls and you can meet a new lover. Your, your, your ability to manifest them is very high. Some of you are afraid, yeah, see, there's someone in your life that you're going in circles with. You're going round and round with this person that has bad intentions. So it's going to take some time. It will be a love that needs to grow over time. Hi, baby Luna. Um, because you're coming out of a unconventional relationship. Some of you here, this new person is going to be very exotic. Um, you're going to, something about them, they could have really dark skin and light eyes or something about them feels exotic. Tell me about the new person, the future love coming into Scorpio's life, please. 
you may start out as a friendship Scorpio but again you're gonna have to take a risk journey into the unknown some of you may start out as friends or you may know this person already a lot of you here this is a friend this is somebody you are currently friends with but over time it's going to grow into something more something bigger others you may be out with friends when you meet this new person but you're going to have to take a risk and fight through these rejection wounds this person is is attractive they're they're loving they're someone that you're gonna want to take a risk on so what what's preventing you from doing this high priestess to two of ones in reverse well there there's a lot of things going on in your subconscious mind that's created blockages when it comes to love you're also preventing yourself from moving forward from another situation and the more you stand here not moving forward um, the more you push off your ability to meet a new lover getting clear on your desires this is what I want out of a lover um, whoever is best for my highest good uh, bring to me now spirit I'm ready for love I'm ready for somebody that 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 treats me well that you know that gives to me equally think about all the qualities you want in a relationship and whoever is best for you and your highest good you will be brought into your life whether that's a past person or a new person it will just depend on you it, it depends on you and your circumstances really tell me about um what's creating blockages here Page of Wands energy. Some of you are, are are really afraid to communicate with someone new. There's somebody new, two of cups here, um, the devil and the king of cups. That you, there, First of all, there's someone that you're still in love with. You still are in love with the devil. You're, you feel bound to a past person and it's preventing you from moving forward. There's good news coming in or a lot of communication coming in between um you and a new lover this person is a soul connection this is a soulmate scorpio this new lover certainly is somebody that you will want to take a chance on but it's going to require you to let go of of the chains that bind you to a past lover now if you want to reconnect with a past lover well then that's okay um but there's nothing wrong with that sweetheart but if you want to move forward but you're still constantly looking back and you're going over conversations that you've had and things you wish you could have done or things you wish you would have said then you're slowing down this new person from manifesting into your life Tell me about the blockages that Scorpio is dealing with with this new lover, please. You're not healing, sweetheart. There's inner child things. You see spirits being so clear. There's healing that needs to take place. You seem to still need to heal. Have a little more fun. Nourish your inner child, Scorpio. Some of you are in a feminine energy right now. You're not um, making any moves. You're just uh, really <clears throat> staying still. And, and again, that's okay. But if you're looking for new love, then it may require you to get on a dating app or start going to new places or do things, uh, you know, that, that you maybe wouldn't do on your day to day, especially if you're looking for new love, but, but it's not coming in. Tell me, what are the blockages that Scorpio's dealing with that's preventing them from meeting a new lover? There is definitely a, a sincere love offer coming in for some of you. You, you want to be the only, you, you don't want any in, interference. You don't want to be in a third party situation, but your communication skills with a lover may be off because you're so used to uh, fighting and arguing and screaming that you're afraid that you won't even know how to act with a new lover. You're afraid that you won't even know what to do. Some of you are afraid to call someone. You're afraid to reach out. You got someone's number or there's someone who texts you um, and you're really quiet about it because you just, you don't know if you're ready to move forward or not. 
you don't want any interference. You're afraid to be put in a third party situation again. Somebody here could have red hair. Moving forward here to when are you going to meet this new lover? The, the, now we have the Queen of Wands and the Magician. Some of you, it may take all the way until Virgo season. But most of you, you're manifesting this brand new lover because you're finally getting your mojo back, your strength back. You're feeling good again. You're feeling good about yourself. You may be looking really good. This person is going to match you match your fly baby is what I just heard some of you here this person is going to um find you equally as uh, attractive Scorpio you may you may meet this person and feel like oh that overwhelming sense of oh my god I'm so turned on by them like I'm so attracted by them but you both afraid you know you're both afraid to speak on it at first some of you have already meant this person, but you're afraid to speak on it. Tell me about when. Three of Pentacles here. The sun. Some of you, it may be during Leo season. It could be somewhere in July-ish that you meet a new person. Queen of Pentacles here. You could meet a very earthy, loving person at work. This is going to be somebody that you work very well with. Someone that, um, you know, you may actually collab with to make some money in some way. Tell me when Scorpio is, is, is projected to meet this new person. Scorpio, some of you here... Before you meet this new person, there's another big blowout to come with a past person. It's a message I'm getting. You may have a big argument. You may have some makeup sex that really doesn't turn into anything more than that. There's something that needs to close out between you and a past person before you meet this new person for some. You could meet them in the next 11 days to 11 weeks. There's something about your subconscious mind, though, sweetheart, that you need to look at. There may be some blockages from this past devil mate that really put you through it. A lot of you are going to have victory. They're, you're making decisive decisions or whatever this blowout is to come with your current or past lover. It's going to uh, allow you to make a, a clear decision. Tell me about when Scorpio is projected to meet this new lover, please. This future lover. Ready to date someone, getting over someone, and meeting new love interest. Scorpio, I'm telling you, there's something you have to do. There's something left to do here with a past lover. This person is moving in silence, but there is more to be revealed. You could have a secret admirer. Somebody lurking around, um, watching you. Uh, somebody who really finds you attractive. This person hasn't presented themselves to you yet, though, because you haven't quite got over your ex. There's something that needs to happen before you meet this new person. There's more to be revealed. There's something that's going to be revealed about a past lover that will allow you to get out of this hesitation. It's past heartbreak, hesitation that's preventing you from meeting this new one. And Luna's rolling around on the ground trying to itch her back or something she's so funny what are you doing over there baby luna yeah bringing balance to your life here freedom from the past darkness to light stay connected to your higher self scorpio what you're going to meet this new person after you for you you have forgiven the past you need to let go of the past and and whatever this is that's going to be revealed to you it is going to allow you to get out of this hesitation and move forward um, with someone new. Somebody here could like to play darts. There could be something about a dart board. You could be out playing darts or shooting darts, whatever they call it, um, or, or um, badminton or something like this, uh, um, foosball or something like this is coming to me. That's just for uh, somebody out there. 
Somebody here could have a butterfly tattoo as well, like sunflowers. I love sunflowers. Um, but you are definitely manifesting this in the next 11 days to 11 weeks if you are ready to let go of the past, to find freedom up from the past, and move forward. Bring balance, stay connected to your higher self. You might want to write this past person a letter, letting go of all this stuck energy. It sounds like it's simple, but it can be very painful. It can be uh, really intense to do because you'll cry and you'll get rid of a lot of emotion. Um, it may be very helpful to you. So the projected outcome. Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. Oh boy, some of you are meeting someone new that you're going to end up blocking. Spirit. Some of you are going to meet somebody new and decide that you do not want to proceed forward with it for whatever the case. Others, I'm telling you, there's some argument or some fight to come with a past person that may actually slow you down from moving forward and meeting this new person. Tell me how the, what the projected outcome is, please. compromise journal transformation and receive spirits asking you to get in a receiving um mode it's your time to receive a breakthrough i'm telling you you're having a breakthrough after this this fallout with a with, with another lover you're being asked to write like i said contemplate process try to understand the emotions that you're dealing with when it comes to a past person so you can move forward and have a beautiful new lover a lot of you, it's going to require a lot of patience, a lot of healing. You getting into a receiving energy so you can start attracting in new love interest. You're going to have many love interests, Scorpio. There's a past person that's refusing um, to budge. They're inflexible, but you will have a happy ending no matter what. Some of you, there may be a lot of love interest. You may end up having to block one or, or you may actually argue with one. But what, you know, whatever the case is, you will find a happy ending here, Scorpio. You are going to have happiness again, but you need to have a breakthrough. There needs to be some kind of breakthrough in your energy that you're dealing with someone that's a habitual liar. You, a lot of you have been just focused on work because you feel like the only people you're bringing in are players and you're tired of it. You may find that a new lover is a player, but you're, you're cutting through the emotional mess here. Having breakthroughs. Finding confirmation. Finding out what it is you need to know about the, the current lover. There's something that they're not telling the truth on. I feel like some of you are dealing with more than one person or you, you're talking to several people. You're going to find one of them is a liar. Some of you have someone racing against time coming on back in. As soon as you meet a new lover, you've been focused on work. You've been focused on your other priorities. But as soon as you start wanting to date and put yourself out there, there's going to be some kind of blow up here with a past lover. Tell me about refusing to commit. There's somebody in your energy right now currently that is refusing to commit to you or they're already in some situation. King of Pentacles energy. This person has a lot of regret for the way they treated you. They could be walking around acting like they're in big D, but they're just actually really regretful and sad. There is a truthful moment or a truthful conversation to come. We have earth, we have air, we have water. I mean, we have water, we have earth, we have air. Yeah, I said it right. A lot of you here, there's some argument that that is coming i felt it and i see it now in the cards and it's going to um tell me about the breakthrough you're gonna have a breakthrough and finally be able to heal and move forward with victory you seem to have some breakthrough coming that's going to allow you to move forward you may end up blocking out the past person so you can meet a new person 
this past person is not budging they're not moving they're not changing they're refusing to commit and so you seem to be moving forward and you have many different love interests a lot of people who find you attractive sweetheart but healing needs to take place. Tell me about the projected outcome with the new person. Recovery needs to take place. King, Knight of Swords, the Tower, and the Six of Swords. A lot of you, this is bringing a tower down. You're going to be shocked on how attractive this person is or how attracted you are to them. You're going to quickly move forward. A very beautiful connection but only after you have this breakthrough and let go of the things that no longer serve you forgive the past here sweetie and move forward heal some of you need to just focus on work right now focus on your career focus on yourself fo focus on your healing your your creativity your life and the more you do that the more you're going to manifest in a brand new lover in the next 11 days to 11 weeks be careful for some argument coming though with with a past person or a current person this new person could be another scorpio a fire sign I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. It's going to be the best Tuesday we've ever had. Today is the best Tuesday you have ever had. Love and light.